All right, good morning. What a venue. They said 10,000 people uh, registered. I think 10,000 people are, are sitting out here. It's really funny. I came in yesterday to see the venue and also to do a dry run, and I got some feedback. It's feedback I've never gotten before in my life. It said, make yourself bigger. <laughs> so I went home and told my wife that. It's never something I ever heard from her either. So anyway, it was a lot of fun. It's a pleasure to be here. It's a pleasure to be able to talk about the great partnership we have with AWS, the things we're doing together, and the material difference it's making, not just for CIA, but also for the intelligence community. So I put this slide up to talk about why we do what we do. And I'm not going to read this to you, except for the first line. We are the nation's first line of defense. Every morning, I get to walk across that seal coming into agency headquarters. And it's kind of a level setter. It's kind of a switch flip to say, OK, game on. It's time to get down to business. And more importantly, it's time to do our best. American public deserves our best. Country deserves our best. And through the partnership we have with AWS and the things we're doing and accomplishing, we're enabling our mission partners to be just that. And that is their best. So let's get into the story. So our cloud, our journey, we started a little over four years ago. And we took a chance. Both sides took a chance, us and Amazon Web Services. This had never been done before. We put an entire Amazon cloud region on our space, in our premises. It was risky. Neither side knew how it was going to turn out. Couldn't predict the risk. But I have to tell you, it's been amazing. Now, we named it Commercial Cloud Services, or C2S, for a reason. It's because we want to be like commercial. We don't want to be like government. We want the speed of commercial. We want the speed of that innovation. So it's very important to us why it said Commercial Cloud Services. We wanted the best of breed. That's why we partnered with Amazon. Now, that's a challenge for us, too, because typically, the government, we always find ourselves wanting to try to force our contractors and our partners to act like us. That doesn't work too well. So what we want to do is force us to act more like you. So far, that's going pretty well. And it is a true partnership. At the end of the day, we've asked them to do things that have made them better, and they've certainly done things to make us better. It's the best decision we ever made. It's the most innovative thing we've ever done. It is having a material difference or making a material difference and having a material impact on both CIA and the IC. So Andy Jassy talked about superpowers at reInvent. Werner talked about them again yesterday. So I kind of lumped our or my talk into four or five of the superpowers and what it's doing, again, to change the way we do business at CIA and, again, for the community. So the first one is speed. Superman was faster than a speeding bullet. Now through our C2S cloud, we have infra infrastructure at the speed of mission. Prior to bringing C2S onto our, our premises, it took us 180 days to provision one server. That's amazing. So then through virtualization, we got that down to 60 days. Thought we were doing pretty good. Through some business process reengineering, we got that down to 20 days. Now we're smoking. Down through AWS and through our C2S, we're down to minutes. That's amazing. Again, that's a game changer for us. So speed is one of our superpowers. Next is power. So Superman was more powerful than a locomotive. We now get to harness the relentless power of Amazon Web Services and their partners at a pace unprecedented. We're bringing new services and new features into the C2S cloud at a velocity that now matches commercial parity something we never had before. In fact, just the opposite. We would spend tens of hundreds of millions of dollars investing in technologies and always be five, six, seven years behind the power curve. We now have commercial parity with this cloud. Marketplace, again, another game changer for us. We now have our own version of Marketplace inside of our cloud. Now, we've got some catching up to do as far as the number of applications. We're up to a little over 100. We've got 70 more in the pipeline. So I encourage you, if you're not in, to apply. It's a great way for us to get access to your application and try them. So for example, in the past, if I want to bring a new application into the agency, I would do my market survey. I'd pick the one that I thought was the best. I'd go through acquisitions. Nine months later, that application would show up. I'd try it only to find out 
didn't work. Start the process over again. Now with these applications in Marketplace and our developers on the cloud, the developer can download an application in minutes, try it against the data sets or the corpus of data they want to try it against. Does it solve my mission? Yes. OK, now I can lease it for as long as I want. If it doesn't, I blow up that instance, I download another application, and I try it again. Again, the speed of mission. It's amazing. DevOps. The other thing we put in our cloud is a DevOps factory. So all the, all the software packs our developers need, we get rid of all our developer workstations. We don't need them anymore. From our standard desktop, you can hit the cloud, you can have access to all your development tools, download them, and download these applications, write code. It's made us not only write higher quality code, more consistent code, but much more secure code at a much faster flash to bang as far as delivery. We now have over 4,000 developers in our DevOps factory across the community all riding on the C2S cloud. Next superpower, scalability. Superman was able to leap tall buildings in a single bound. We can now scale vast infrastructures in seconds. So our old model, when we provision or stand up a new application or capability inside of our data center, we'd have to do the calculation and say, OK, uh, how much do I need for the peak where I think this is going to maximize uh, when it needs to run? And uh, we'd have to build to that, only to find out that over the average time of running that application or that capability, we're used about 12% of the time, so 88% of wasted resources. Through C2S, it's our building block. It gives us unlimited capacity. It gives us automated load balancing. It gives us instant provisioning. Our cloud, our adoption of the cloud across the IC is growing 208% year over year. That's amazing. That's game changing. Let me give you a couple of value uh, statistics on that. So. Three ways we get value out of the cloud. We get savings, dollar savings. We get cost avoidance. But more importantly, we get mission impact. So a couple examples, not specific, but kind of the, the bumper stickers. Uh, we have applications that have gone in, one collection of apps in particular, that was spending thousands of dollars a day to run in the old data center is now hundreds of dollars a day to run in C2S. We had applications now that don't have to recapitalize their hardware. That's the cost avoidance value. And then finally, mission impact. Things that used to take months, as I mentioned earlier, now take minutes. Things, complex searches on complex data sets that used to take hours, now take seconds. Again, real impact to mission. Strength. So strength is another superpower. Invincibility. I'm never going to say that anything, that anything you do in the cyber world is totally invincible, but this is pretty close. Here's why. We took this battle-tested, hardened cloud that's on the outside, that's connected to the internet, dropped it behind our guards, gates, and guns, and we're not connected to the internet. So already, I think, we're a cut above from a security standpoint. Then we, working with our Amazon partners, developed more security overlays, controls, and audits than we need to put on our, our system for the things we need to do. Again, enhancing that, enhancing that already uh, strong, defensible cloud. So with that, I would argue and say, this is probably the most secure thing there is out there. And our mission apps, we have all our business apps in, our mission apps are coming in. Again, it's a game changer for us, and I don't think there's anything out there that's, uh, that's any more protected. So durability. Just by the fact that we have a complete region, we have three availability zones. There are basically three geographically dispersed data centers. What that does for us, that separation gives us fault isolation already built in. If one of, those, if one of those zones fails, it does not take down the entire region. The beauty of that is that's built in. We don't have to think about it anymore, and that's the durability. And finally, one of my favorites is truth. So I was a kid in uh, Teresa, Wonder Woman. And so if you remember, Wonder Woman had the lasso of truth. So I talk about truth because Andy talked about um, X-ray vision at reInvent, okay? the, the, the power to see your data or see inside your data. I think truth takes it one step further, and that is to get the value of or the context or the meaning of the data. Artificial intelligence and machine learning, they're changing the way we do, we do analysis. We're now discovering things that were never before discoverable. We 
are now integrating data where before we co-located a lot of data. And I'll give you a great example of one capability that we've put together inside the cloud that's changing the way we do analytics and, uh, and complex problems. Inside our C2S cloud, we've now built these protected virtual private clouds, these bubbles, if you will. And what we put in them, we have a hard problem to solve. We'll put data scientists, developers, targeters, and uh, analysts, and let them work inside this space. And a great example, uh, a couple months ago when we first kicked this off, we had nothing on day one, and by day seven, we had 90 core of processing. We had a little over 20 terabytes of data. We had 20 applications that had been brought in as needed, as required. And we had analysts and, like I said, developers, data scientists, and targeters all working together on a hard problem, writing code in real time as they sifted through the data and did other uh, analysis on the data. And what came out of that was some amazing discoveries. Again, something we never would have been able to do before. And it kind of a hot wash afterwards, we said, that was pretty good. And this is something that's wash, rinse, and repeatable. And more importantly, we just kind of sat back and one of our, one of our principals said, you know, we're gonna remember this day as far as this capability, and that it was a game changer for the community. So again, innovation at the, uh, at the speed of cloud. Last thing I wanna mention from the, uh, from the artificial intelligence standpoint is you know, some of those new features or new services coming out in the AI world like Lex and Poly, you know, from us that have to, uh, to make sure that all of our systems are available and accessible to all of our workforce. We have workforce with special needs. And I think, I think Lex and Poly are gonna revolutionize that. I've worked with the, the current tools out there, and yes, it meets the letter of the law. We can check all 34 boxes, but if you ever sat down and had to use it, you'd say, I can't use this. So things like Lex and Poly, let's say we have a, a, uh, a blind officer sit down and say, okay, tell me what's in my inbox today, and it tells you. Uh, what documents are priority, it tells you. It reads them back to you. That's gonna be huge, and we're excited about what we're gonna do for accessibility. So those are our, I wanna run past just six truths and what they're doing for the community. Again, it's been a game changer for us. It's like nothing else we've ever done before. It's making a material difference across CIA and the IC. And the cool part is, we're just getting started. I mean, we're just scratching the surface as far as the power of this thing. And if you, those of you who went to reInvent, and even here, and the new services coming out, I mean, it's almost mind-blowing as far as the capabilities that, uh, that are out there that AWS is developing. The great part about C2S for us is the ones we like, the ones we need, we can bring them right into our region and have them available for the community. So thank you very much. Thank you for letting me tell our story, and have a great summit.